Let's go pressure wash. Pressure washy, I'll washy washy, wash wash. <laughs> Alright, for this video we're going to need a Subaru 3100 PSI pressure washer, gas pump. Uh, doesn't have to be Subaru, it could be anything. 3100, I would, I would recommend 3100. Then, maybe to, for the domination lines, we're going to use some of this 30 second outdoor cleaner. For the curbs, the turbo pressure wash nozzle. 36 inch one. Fifteen inch surface cleaner. Oh way. And me. You're gonna need me. Getting too old to be throwing myself around like that. What it is, YouTube Nation? What's going on? Saturday morning, 7 a.m., rise and shine. And uh, we're doing some pressure washing today. What it's got on there. Ooh, did you hear that? Was that my back? Or my crack? I guess I'll be editing that part out. So, this is what the surface cleaning looks like. Like so, Briggs and Straton. I said 15 inch, right? I lied, it's 14 inches. Give or take an inch, you know. Uh, anyway, when you put it on the ground, these are spinning with, uh, you know, water spraying out. And you get 14 inch uh, swath path coverage. Instead of just when you're doing it with your hand, you're getting like four inches, six inches. You gotta be close, so you can't go more than six inches. It takes forever. This you just put on the ground and you move it to the left. To the right, side, baby, side, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So you put this down on the ground, makes it quick. Uh, you can use an electric pressure washer, but they don't have enough pressure. You're limited by the cord, and uh, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't do electric. I mean, if you have to, you have to. Not what I would do. So, like I said just a second ago, before I threw myself, I'm thinking I might use this just on, well, I might use it like on, I have some oil stains, so I don't know if this will take off that, probably not, but definitely on the first cement squares by each neighbor. You gotta enhance that domination line. And if it's too noticeable, then I'm gonna have to do it all, which is fine. Stuff on the fence, dynamite, let me tell you, dynamite. And then uh, we got the surface cleaner, 15 inch, whoever. I think that's Briggs and Stratton, but you can get whoever. But that's key. If you don't have the surface cleaner and you're just using one of these or the 30 degree or less tip, you're gonna spend all day. Regulators, mount up. Let's get out there and check it out. Out there. Over there, follow me. All right, so first things first, let's make sure it has gas. Probably doesn't, because I just let somebody borrow it. It does not. So let's get some gas in there. Nothing better than throwing it to the top. Screw this back down. Now we attach the pressure washer's hose to itself. This is where the water comes out. Doesn't have to be super tight. Bam. Now take the other end of the hose and attach it to your wand, 36 inch wand. So we're gonna attach it to this 36 inch wand into here. It's a 36 inch shaft, it ain't a wand. Everybody knows that. 
So you just screw it on. You know what I mean? Get it real nice and tight. Not too tight, because you gotta take it off. But attach this to the surface cleaner. Like. Oh wait. <laughs> Scrap that. So now you take the other end of the hose and connect it to the gun. This is my rifle, this is my gun. This one's for fighting and this one's for fun. We didn't really sing that in the Marine Corps. Ah, okay, we did, but not often. All right, now you got that attached. Now you take your 36 inch shaft and you're gonna attach the shaft to the nozzle for the spray gun. So let's take this shaft and hook it up. There we go. Screw it on. For some of you, this might be hard to do. Not, not used to handling a 36 inch shaft. I'm not used to handling a 36 inch shaft. Just nine inches. Feels like I need to grease it up a little bit. Ah, now we got the shaft on. Now you take this part and you put it on to the surface cleaner right here. It's better if you don't drop it. Like so. Next step is hooking up the hose. Next step after that is let's go. Here's another quick tip from my mode though. Put one of these hose connectors on. That way you have access to your water on and off here. You don't have to walk all the way over there. So, now we take it and we thread it on. Again, don't do it too tight because you want to be able to take it off. We'll turn the water on when it's time to turn it on. Make sure you get plenty of hose. You want plenty of hose because you never know where you might need to go. All the way over there. Okay, let's get at it. Pressure washing, starting now. Real Bob Shady, that was a one tugger for you. So in real time, that was about five minutes. Did both these squares, once this way, once that way, once this way, once that way, this way, that way, this way, this way, like a flight attendant. Doors are open. Eh? Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna take the high pressure nozzle and just rinse all this down. Let's do it. This is the 40 degree tip. Always make sure you insert the tip all the way, not just the tip. Locked and loaded, let's go.
that's embarrassing. <laughs> Maybe that's why my daughter says she doesn't want to come out and help me. Because the neighbors come by and I just look like a fool. Or did I? Could have been the best move ever. Okay, let's get back to the time lapse. Another thing while you're pressure washing, you might want to push your cracks to the limit. So we're going to P-I-T-T-L right now. I'll show you right over here. P-I. TTL, pushing it to the limit. Gotta get your crack clean if you know what I mean. Push this camera to the limit. Tag P I T T L. I'm all low. Back to it. All right. So that's me cleaning the lens. Ah, uh, so that's the driveway. I'm gonna do the sidewalks now. And yada yada yada. But you know what a sidewalk clean looks like. Just want to show you the driveway and the procedure. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get to the sidewalks and then I'll show you the end results. Peace, love, funky vibes. Nope, not yet. Be right back. Well, I was wrapping up my pressure washing video, which that's what you're watching right now. So that's stupid that I say that. But uh, I'm on remote site. I'm Olo Studios is out and about. We're down at the beach, down in Galveston. Anyway. I did the closing with my Canon uh, GX7, and for some reason I can't get the footage off it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this video right now, Galveston style, on the board. We're on the booster board again. Oh, if you want to see the concrete finished, I'll show that in another video. But for right now, check out this concrete. It's pretty white. How's it going? That's white concrete. That white. That's white concrete. That one could be pressure washed. That one could be pressure washed. There's so much pressure washing to do. Remember, for I am Olo. Mo. Grow and repeat. Peace, love, and funky vibes.